part of our Vessel Watch project. These are our trips, monthly trips out to the Gulf of the Farallones National Marine Sanctuaries and the state marine protected areas that are being proposed out along the north central coast. And we're listening to the sounds beneath the surface of the ocean um, to listen in on, on the sound world of marine wildlife and how they use sound and how their, their, their sound is being disrupted by um, increasing levels of noise pollution increasing the background hum of the ocean from large shipping vessels. Uh, and we think these sanctuaries are, are, are Yosemites on the sea and they need to be protected in the same way that we wouldn't allow a superhighway to be built through the Yosemite National Park. We shouldn't allow our sanctuaries and marine protected areas to be used as on-ramps and all the time. Today we've seen uh, we've seen some examples of uh, some large shipping vessels, and we've been able to listen to their sounds. They've introduced the noise that they've introduced into the ocean. We've also been able to uh, listen to uh, the sounds of snapping shrimp and various other marine wildlife. We've been able to see whales and sea lions, and many different kinds of seabirds, uh, and be able to see them in their habitat uh, and how and the kinds of challenges and threats they face, and our responsibilities for protecting them from those from those threats. Shipping is the, contributes to the overwhelming majority of ocean noise pollution. And so to address that, Seaflow is calling for a 10 knot speed limit to protect those places that everyone agrees should be protected. And those are the sanctuaries and marine protected areas. And so what we'd like to say is when you solve the problem of shipping, um, you solve many other problems. A 10 knot speed limit would not only make the oceans quieter, but it would also cut the number of, of endangered whales that are struck and killed by collisions with ships by 50 percent. Uh, it would also reduce uh, their greenhouse gas emissions and help us go a long way towards addressing uh, global climate disruption. What CEPA is doing is to, to introduce people that care about the oceans to what it sounds like under the surface of the water um, so they can care about what happens above the surface of the water um, and take back their knowledge and their, their experiences out here and take it back and, and let policymakers know about how these sanctuaries have been set aside, these marine protected areas have been set aside to be protected, need to be protected from all the threats, uh, including shipping. <laughs>